Yo, yo, it's your boy Abu Samra back with another video and today I got a little story to tell you. You know, this video should be out by 9 p.m. So this could be a little bedtime story. You can watch this and then go to bed if you got like work in the morning or whatever. So check this out, right? So obviously I went to a particular cafe and while I was there, what was on? England versus Croatia. This was during the World Cup from last year. So obviously this was during the World Cup and I went to the cafe and I'm, you know, the match happened to be on. So let me tell you what happened. So basically, you know, for those that don't remember, we scored the first goal. Long story short, Croatia scored the equalizer. And what confused me was the Egyptians started celebrating Croatia's goal. And I'm thinking to myself, you guys are not Croatian. Why are you supporting Croatia? But that wasn't a thing that annoyed me. Once Croatia scored the equalizer, one of the waiters was like, you know, going mad and he was like, yes, yes. That didn't even annoy me. What annoyed me was as he was walking past me, this guy said, F you England. Now I was thinking to myself, no, nah, I'm, I'm, I must have misheard or like, I must have like, you know, I, I don't think he said that. But then afterwards, one of the Egyptians behind me who was watching a match basically said, let me skid it. Basically meaning like, you know, not like that, you know, like you don't do that, which pretty much confirmed what the waiter said. So, you know, what? I stayed cool. I was like, I'm not going to get mad. I was just like, you know, whatever. But as the match went on, like it kind of annoyed me, like the more I thought about it. And then obviously Croatia scored the winning goal. Now, one of the managers of the cafe purposely went, yes. Now, you know, I didn't mind that. I just took that as banter. And then like, you know, I kind of looked at the manager like, oh, OK, cool. All right. That was a good one. All right. Yeah, you got me there. So obviously what the waiter said and what he did was still on my mind. And it really annoyed me. Anyone that knows me knows I am not about nationalism. I am not about nationalism. I'm not about any of that stuff. Like, you know, I'm just me. I represent myself. I represent my family, basically. I do my best to represent myself as a Muslim. But, you know, despite that, I just felt like, you know, he didn't have to go that far. He didn't have to insult where I'm from. You know, that didn't sit too well with me. After the match was done, I called the waiter, not the one who said F you England, but another guy. He was, he was really, really cool. I called him and I basically said, I want to check and I want to speak to the manager. And then, you know, he was like, oh, oh, I hope there isn't a problem. And I was like, no, there is still. So get the manager. So he got the manager. I basically said, I want to speak to you two, the waiter that said F you England and the really nice waiter. And then I basically told the manager what happened. And then the manager asked the waiter, did you really say that? And this waiter was like, yeah, I said it. This guy can't be serious. This guy tried to explain himself. Instead of saying, yeah, I'm sorry, you know, like emotions and everything, like, you know, I just got caught up in the moment and, you know, I didn't really mean to say that. M my apologies. I take it back. I'm really sorry. This guy tried to explain himself. And I'm thinking to myself, are you mad? Is this guy high or something? So then, obviously, I'm telling the managers, listen, if I had said F you Egypt, you would have every right to kick me out of the cafe and banned me just like basically tell me like don't come back because you're taking it a step too far like he he made it really personal do you get what i'm saying and then so like there's this back and forth back and forth and then at some point like you know i started to get really 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 angry if you don't know i'm from the southeast of london and the southeast of london is basically considered to be like i'm not gonna say a no-go zone but like if you go there you're gonna have to be really really careful because it is really dangerous so obviously the southeast london in me like came out and then, you know, like I, I started to like get in his face a little bit, but then before anything could happen, like I was pulled back. You gotta calm down, it's not that deep, it's football. And then in the end, I was just like, you know, like I was really, really agitated. And I was just like, this, you cannot be serious. Like I was really about to like put my hands on him, but thankfully I didn't. And I think if I did put my hands on him, I would have regretted it big time. In the end, the manager started like getting at him, getting at his weight and basically telling him like, you know, you shouldn't be making excuses. This is bull crap. You don't insult somebody's country. Like you're making it personal now. To be honest, I think the waiter was just stuck in his ways. Like he was not going to be convinced. Like according to him, what he did was absolutely fine. So, you know, after a while, once I calmed down and once I realized this and this is like, it's rubbish, it's over football, it's nothing, just let it go. So in the end, um, the waiter apologized and I accepted his apology and I moved on, you know, and then one of the waiters was like the, the, the really nice waiter. He was like, you're going to come back here. Yeah? And I was like, I'll see. I haven't been back since and I don't plan on going back. Yeah, that ain't happening. Sorry, not sorry. But yeah, that's basically it. That's my story, you know. Hope you found it entertaining. If not, 
sorry for wasting your time. Let me know what you would have done in this situation. Did I handle the situation correctly? Yes, let me know. If not, then what should I have done? Once again, thank you guys for your support. It's really much appreciated. Make sure you leave a like, comment, subscribe, share. This has been your boy Abu Samra and I'm out. Peace.